And so if, you know, there's some people out there who, where they are on their journey with understanding this concept that we're using to call structured water, they're saying, is it real and can it impact health? What would you say to somebody like that? So when it comes to structured water, then we start with very basic science. It's important. Just like I think anybody with logic or not even without logic understand, oh, structure is indeed everywhere, right? So again, that concept of structure, when you look at the house, no matter how many nice things you have at home, if your foundation is off, if your structure is off, it's just not going to be functional. So it's the same way with the way our cells function, our body function. Understand that everything is really based on hydration, circulation, lymphatic. Everything has to do with this flow, right? We are mainly water. So then I start with basically how well are we nourishing ourselves or how well are we cleansing ourselves? And water is solvent. And that's when we know that structured water is incredible, incredibly important because it gets into the cells. So we're talking about always intracellular hydration. Awesome. Awesome. I love that about the, the house. I'd never thought about it that way before, but I mean, if your foundation's not right, if your structure is not right, nothing, nothing else. Nothing works. Nothing, nothing works. works. Organiz- I like the word organization because I know we've talked, you and I, uh, everything is structure, <laughs> right? You said everything is structure, even the water in the toilet <laughs> is a structure water. So that's really important that we do need to let people know because especially nowadays we tend to use words to kind of it's unfortunately it's sort of still in that it, it's there's a tendency for this reductionism that words could kind of cover like we read the labels of the food to think it's healthy or not instead of actually smelling touching getting to know the soil and the farmer so i think it's important that water desperately wants us to reconnect with its essence instead of using the word like structured water, right? You need to experience it instead of reading the certification. Yeah, I, I've taken to saying that all water is structured. It's just a question, is it structured toward chaos or structured toward coherence? Exactly, and, exactly. You know, I never really knew the word coherence until I got in the structured water industry and it's become one of my favorite words. And, yeah, yeah. you know, I think of it when I see like a video of, or even from uh, snorkeling, where you see a school of fish all move as one or a flock of birds all moving together. And you see that coherence, that connectedness. Yeah. It's like there's a lot of communication going on in the structure of how that pack of animals is moving. It's right, really right. And the Korean coherence, there is a foundational aspect, but there is a personal aspect. So when we're drinking structured water, we have to kind of think about water is kind of what unifies us together, our environment, our ecosystem, our precious mother planet, as well as individually. I don't see a single client who's truly well hydrated nowadays because of many things, it's just a lot with toxicity and EMF and just a lot of stimulation. So hydration is incredibly important right now. But I think that's in all of us. All of us need water to live and stay alive and thrive. But then when it comes on to coherence of water, it has to do with you your intention, your desire, and how much you do want that water, how much do you thirst. So this is an aspect of water that probably a lot of scientists may resist because now we're getting a little too spiritual, but that just that's the essence of water. Water will work with in a place that you are in. Yeah, I think that's one of the places where we're kind of um, sharing the same values is I love that we, we both have the um, encouragement for people to know who they are, to have an intention around water and to get into nature and, and you know, forage for, for wild water. Cause like, that's the best is, you know, when you can go out there and, and get that. And, you know, we're, li- we're living these modern lives and we have all this plumbing around us and all this structure to hold and support the life we live. And so not many of us, can go pull water from nature every day, which is where devices come in. Yeah. And, um, you know, if we reorganized and went back into nature with our lives, then maybe we wouldn't need, we wouldn't need devices, but.